Well, sir, that's how it all began. That's how Johnny, all alone, set out to meet the great unknown. It was a mighty big and fearsome place for a man to face. some critters on every side. Johnny just kept walking on. Walked until at last he found a little spot of open ground with fertile soil and warm some breeze. A likely place for apple trees. Now the varmints here, they couldn't know if John was friend or John was foe. So some took off in sudden flight. And some got sot to claw and bite. But if Johnny seen him, he paid no heed. Just got busy of planting apple seed. Now them varmints come from everywhere. Watch that man a digging there. He didn't like what they were seeing. Didn't trust no human being. Yep, that ornery human had to go. But who was it gonna tell him so? Well, not a soul could answer that. Till here come along a black and white cat. Now he warn't too bright, but he didn't much care. He knowed he had a certain air about him. Ne'er seed the beat of that. The likes of a human a like in that cat. Why, shucks. This little man had went and busted every precedent. He was the very first to come. Without no knife, without no gun. And so it was. From that time on, every last living varmint was a friend to John. They surely was. The Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. I and he good to me. Well, as time went by, Johnny kept right on a-planting his apple trees and making friends everywhere. And his best friend was the pioneers, for of course John was planting more than an apple tree. He was planting his own boundless faith and courage too. 
And that gave folks new heart, new hope in the job they had to do. And as more and more pioneers come to push back the forest, the kindly deeds of little Johnny Appleseed spread throughout the land. And more than once, with a good old-fashioned jubilee, folks would honor Johnny Appleseed and the fruit of the apple tree. <laughs>